people didn't know that First Nations people didn't, didn't get the right to vote till 1961. First Nations people didn't have the right to access a lawyer till 1952. You know, you couldn't leave the reserve without a permit, a pass permit, a permit from the Indian agent. You know, till the 50s. You know, you couldn't kill your own cattle. You couldn't sell your own wood without a permit from the Indian agent. So between the residential schools and the imposition of the Indian Act in 1876, between those two things, they decimated and broke down a whole governance. And it's been uh, 500 plus years of civilize the indigenous peoples, assimilate the indigenous peoples, terminate the indigenous peoples, and now it's integration. We're going to be integrated in society, not dragging our heads, ashamed of who we are, because the residential schools taught our people, our children and grandchildren, that it's no good to be Indian. The hope now that we see is that young men and women are getting two systems of education. The kindergarten to grade 12, the math and science, university, technical vocational on one hand. But equally important on the other hand is, is what we see happening now is more and more of our young men and women are coming back to their ceremonies, are coming back to their traditions, are coming back to their cultural practices, are getting proud of their language and basically breaking down the stereotype that Indian people, First Nations people are dumb, stupid, lazy, drunk on welfare, that the pride's coming back. <laughs> And the work that Bo's doing is vital to that whole rejuvenation. It's vital to our nation building. It's vital to who we are as indigenous peoples, the creation stories, all these things that he works on. It's captured through art, it's captured through his mask, it's captured through the, the coppers. Everything that they have in the, their, their teachings are similar right across Canada. And what we keep breaking down is the myth that Canada was founded on two founding nations, French and English. Not when you have over 58 different indigenous nations here. We have our own land, we have our own laws, we have our own people, we have our own identifiable forms of government, you know, we have our own languages. Things that qualify for the inherent right to self-determination. and. Uh, we're moving down that road.